Hey everybody, this is an important video. So when you implement Shopify customer event code, because it's implemented in a sandbox, your URLs are gonna look like this. This is not good because you can't tell what these URLs are. Now it's pretty simple to fix this and there isn't any documentation you know, in any kind of community forum or anything like that. I found it kind of buried on Shopify's uh, website. It's over here, cleaner page URLs. So they tell you to submit this page viewed uh, data layer push. And my code is in fact doing that. I can show you. Here it is, page viewed data layer push. Now the thing that I wasn't doing which is why I see URLs like that, is two things. So in Google Tag Manager, you've got to first create a page view GA4 event, right? So create a tag type, Google Analytics, GA4 event, add your measurement ID, create an event name and call it page underscore view and then give it a pay, an event parameter of page underscore location, and then give it a data layer value, sorry, a data layer variable of URL. And so I'm grabbing this one over here. If you expand this, and then you right click this one and go copy property path. I've created a data layer variable right here, and that's just echoing simply URL, okay? So that takes care of that. The second thing you have to do, oh, by the way, I'm firing that particular GA4 event on an event called page underscore viewed. Okay. The second thing you have to do is find your measurement ID. This is where your G dash measurement, um, your measurement ID is referenced. Over here, you click on a uh, configuration parameter and uh, let's see if we can do that from scratch so you understand. Yeah, underneath configuration parameter, click on add parameter. The configuration parameter is just gonna be this, send underscore page underscore view. You're gonna set that to false. This is so the automatic page view tracking doesn't happen in GA4 and that it uses ours instead. So it's, it's not grabbing or attempting to grab the things inside the sandbox because the sandbox is secure, the customer event sandbox that we're using. And because it's secure, it's making all the URLs look super ugly. So we are basically grabbing the variables from inside the sandbox. These ones here, we're returning them in this page viewed event. And this is okay to do from inside the sandbox. We just have to tell GA4 to not do it automatically. And we have to uh, basically turn that one off and make ours overwrite it. So that absolutely works and uh, that's awesome. I'll show you that it does work. So in the real-time view, I was happy when I found a solution to this because a lot of people on these uh, community forums, like this one, for example, one person just says, you can fix it with GTM and then actually doesn't say how to fix it. So I've just showed you how to fix it. So here, if we go to real time and then find the page view event and then go to uh, page location, the one that I added, there, you can see the URLs are coming through very cleanly. Okay. Hopefully that helps you guys out. If you buy my code, this is something I'm going to introduce. And, um, yeah, if you're trying to do this yourself, I recommend that you do this so that the URLs come through clean on uh, in, in, in GA4. So disable the automatic page view tracking in GTM and override that with a page view event like I did here and pass the page location parameter. Shopify shows you how to do that here but as I said, it's, it's baked into my code. Okay. Have a good one. And uh, yeah, any questions, let me know. Actually, before I go, I came across uh, a different section from the GA4 documentation for GTM. If you're manually sending
page view events, you want to send page underscore title, page underscore location, and page underscore path. And the values for these should be the ones that I showed you here. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to update those now. So here, measurement ID, I'll put that in there. Good. Event parameters, one, two, three. So I'm going to go to the documentation, page title, location, path. Okay, let's see here. Page title. Page location, page path. Okay, and we're gonna add, we're gonna add uh, the values here. So we're gonna go back here. So the page title is this one here. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna say copy property path. Go here, page title, and I'm gonna create a data layer variable. I'm just going to call it page underscore title just so I can remember what it is for next time. Add it here. Page title. There we go. Page location. What is that one? Page title. Uh, that's going to be URL, I believe. Yep. Uh, yeah, do we have path? No path. URL. Location and title. Good. Go back to GTM. I'm going to create another one for page, location, data layer variable, URL. Good. So I'm going to trigger it on, on an event called page underscore view. Let's just make sure page viewed. That's what it is. Event name is page viewed. Go like that. I hope you can understand our my naming convention. I hope it'll be it make sense. Page viewed. Save. Good. That's how it all should be done. Okay. Signing off for real this time. Thanks, guys.